Let's start. Uh, thank you for joining uh, this Moxie call interview round. Today, uh, I'm going to give you a couple of uh, SQL tasks. Feel free to ask any questions. Just solve it and that's it. So I'll share the link to the coder instrument, like coder tool, just right now. So, okay, and I'll share my screen just for everyone to track and follow. Yeah, okay, and I'll copy the first task. Do you see the task? There are just two tables. It's about athletes in sports industry. And the company wants to analyze the number of events each of this has participated in overtime table of athletes and events table and the task is to uh, for each athlete to calculate the number of cumulative number of events that have participated in ordered by one day so the final table the final output should be like athlete id event id and the cumulative number of events and yeah date of the event Okay, Nikita, I'm going to have questions. It's my first time yeah. being on a mock interview, especially in a, a SQL or SQL interview. Um, wh where do we, like, do I use, wh where do I write the code? Do I write it here so you can see it? Yes. Or do I, just do I write it? Write it just uh, below the task. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's my fun. Did I miss something? Did you start with something that I missed? Intros, because I see multiple people. They're just yeah, viewing so us. They, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they're just viewing, following. Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. Good. We need that lead. Uh, we need to calculate the kind of number of events. So we'll need. Participated in. We're going to have order by and date. Now let's see. So, what does cum cumulative number of events? It's like the total of number of events that each of them participated in. For example, uh, one athlete had three events in different gotcha. dates. So we should, in first row, we should see this uh, event, athlete, and the first number will be one, because it's the first event. For the second, the number should be two, like, and uh, each event yeah, adds qualitative number. So the last event should contain, like, the, the total number of, of all events, like, before and including this event. It's only two tables, so we can either join or we can do uh, leads. No, no. I'm trying to do alias.
So we have different leads and we need to see what events they join. So it's going to be the left join on athletes, ordered by event date. So this will get me the list of athletes events. So I'm getting stuck with cumulative number. So if we just count events IDs, it's too bad I cannot see the output. It's a during interviews, you cannot like play with the code to see what's the output and then adjust it. They want to see the, the real code. So I think, uh, like. yes, good question. So I think it depends on the company. Most yeah. uh, like SQL interviews that I've had, they were similar to this one, just like a, a coder, like pad. And so the, the key goal here is to um, check your uh, logic and your knowledge. It's not. Uh, to write exactly correct, clean code because it's you can know everything and you can just write, but you forgot to just put, I don't know, a comma. Yeah, and uh, because of that, uh, you won't have like the right output. But in, in some cases, yes, uh, some companies use uh, some platforms like HackerRank or something where you can, where, where you're able, around maybe 60, 70% of companies that I had interview, they just use the same stuff. Maybe around 30% they used some platforms uh, with the output. But you can just, uh, here, you can just ask uh, any questions. Okay, if you don't know uh, how, how to calculate, we can discuss it. Also, just, uh, we don't have athlete column name, so you should choose another. Uh, athlete ID, here we yes. go. Or something, yeah. Here we go. Sorry, it's, it's, it's a busy morning, so I'm a bit slow. Switching tasks, uh, but yeah, I'm getting there. Uh, so we're getting, and then, also, I would make it look normal. So I would make an ally setting. This is the athletes. Oh, we actually can do just the name. We don't need the athlete ID. I can do a as a name, and then we don't need the ally. Um, it's going to give us the names. They all have different names. They're all unique. Uh, yes, let's assume they have. And then uh, we want to see event IDs. Uh, it's ordered by event date is going to be yeah. and i think to do the cumulative i can do the group by and i can group by the athlete id and then it's going to give us like i don't know if this is the solution because then i can i can it is just going to group uh, all the athletes by by the events they attended you will calculate the total number of events yeah but you need a cumulative meaning one two three eight. how many yeah so i can do count count uh, yeah it's correct and then on count i need to uh, calculate how many events uh, so we have the athlete athletes and event id per athlete oh wait there's something that i learned a couple of weeks ago um yeah, you can check or you can use mm -hmm. Google or not chat GPT to where yeah, because there is like a specific uh, function that you should use uh, to calculate the cumulative number. Okay. Let me finish with this and then let's see. Um, so I count, we're going to count the um, ID from then so we combine the tables, we're going to see the list, we're going to order by the event date, um, and then I want to get, I want to get the cumulative number. Of, let's see, mm, I have a cheat sheet uh, of all the X SQL functions. I was going through it okay. this morning and I'm like, oh my God, I, I still don't know yeah, so many things. You, yeah, I, I can uh, give you one hint. It's, do you know like a window functions? I'm kind of familiar with window functions, but not great. This is something I was looking in today. So you should use uh, window functions with count. Count, so I'm on that little sheet. So count, I, I never used the window functions to be honest. So I didn't get there. I just yeah, saw so it today and I'm like, so okay. Great. Yeah, so it's a great opportunity to learn it today. So well, let's do it.
First of all, we have yet uh, two fields, year name and event ID, and you have one date somewhere. There is a last step that we need to do. It's just to write this count functions using window functions, yeah, mm -hmm. to get this cumulative number. So you should just write count, yeah, sure. like in select, yeah, yeah, in select, yeah. Uh, and you should count what you should, you should, you should count events, yes. So you we're going to be count. counting events, yeah. So after that, after the count events, you should uh, write over. Uh, with parentheses. Uh, and in window functions, uh, how, how they are working. So you should specify like, like a window. I, I, inside this window, you will calculate uh, this cumulative numbers. Yeah, so you have different athletes and you need to calculate uh, separately. Yeah, for each athlete. Athlete number one, like first event, second, third, and so on. Athlete number two, we start calculating from scratch also one, two, three. So we don't need to continue. So for every athlete, we should uh, select a window, I would say. Yeah, and calculate inside this window the number of events. We should uh, write in, in this parenthesis over. We, uh, we should write uh, partition by. Okay. Partition by. Okay. You can change to sign up. So over, of course, it's going to be like this. And partition by, and then I say events order by date. In partition by, you, I would say you select uh, this window, uh, how they are like different, like with each other. I would say. So we need to calculate this count for each individual athlete. So in partition by, you should specify this athlete ID. So you should like partition by athlete ID. Uh, how many? What athlete, how many times they participated in, into the event? So athlete ID. Yeah. And uh, okay. then you should specify like order logic. So you should write order by. Order by. And that's going to be event. So we have athlete ID by event ID as we're counting yeah. events. Uh, no, uh, you should order by event days, I think. Yeah, because uh, also right. the order by I wrote here. OK, I get the logic. OK, order by event date. I think so for me now, to understand, yeah. I need to I need to run it uh, so I can see it. Um, it's not possible right now, but no, in general, no, no, no worries. I can explain. Yeah, yeah. So what we have name or athlete ID, we have event name, and we have date. So this function just uh, what it does. It looks at partition by, and it I would say separates by event ID. So it like I would say well, no, it's maybe not not creates, but it creates something temporary like this windows with all events by athlete ID. So there are a lot of, I would say, separate groups separated by uh, athlete ID. So we have all events for one uh, athlete ID for another. Inside this window, we are sorting these events by event date, which we specified in this function, yeah? Order by event date, they are ordered. And after that, we count events by event ID. So we know we need to write count, not events, but event ID. Yeah, because we don't have this field events in our. Uh, yeah, I'm putting the, the table name. Yeah. So yeah, so. this is the, the window function. OK, we're selecting the name. We're counting event IDs. I need to tell which table we're looking at uh, over. This is the function. So this will give us the cumulative uh, number of you don't, uh, events yeah, all yeah. the time. Yeah, that's it. But then the, the rest is um, I'm joining two tables so we can pull the data. That is that. Yeah, was so the... actually, you know, yes, you show the, you can use like yeah, join to get name 
actually yeah the first table you just need only like a name of athlete in general you can use only like a second table but the first one's just for the name because in the second you have athlete id but it's useful cool yeah um, let's go to the second task yeah yeah let's do it i'm copying everything so i can go over it and you know, i can mm -hmm. i can test it so one two let's go second task I'll copy it. copy it. okay Mm, e-commerce. And here the dust, yeah. Calculate. So you work in e-commerce uh, retailer. And the company wants to analyze customer behavior in the detail. So you need to calculate uh, the average purchase value for each customer, and uh, you should identify the most recent purchase date for each customer. That's going to be interesting. So we got the customer table, the purchase tables, they got the, the IDs, customer IDs, and then we got the purchase IDs, purchase amount, total amount spent divided by the total to purchase. Okay. Actually, you don't need, I think, the, the first table. Or oh, you need it, yeah. So we got the purchase date, the most recent purchase date for each customer. Oh, yeah, we don't actually need it because yeah. they want the purchase amount and the purchase date, the recent purchase date. Display the results ordered by average purchase value in descending order. Oh, that's going to be fun. Order Y. Average purchase. Oh, that's going to be fun how to do average purchase. And then we need to come up with uh, with a table. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be as easy as just average, but I'm going to get there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Order by average. So average will calculate all the values in the table and divided by the total. Oh no, it's going to total amount spend divided by total purchases. I think it needs to be a calculated field. Uh, oh my God. It's like we need to sum total purchases because we need to get the total values first. We need to sum purchase amounts. So we need to sum uh, the amount of uh, purchases made. So total divided by total. I don't think we can, because if we do the average, it's not going to be accurate. My logic is we need to sum purchase amount. And I need some purchase ID. I can actually find it, I can count them. I don't need to sum because it's gonna sum the IDs. Uh, so I just can count the amount of it. And we're getting it from this table. We're gonna order by the average. <clears throat> so we need to make another function that will count it. I'm looking into my cheat sheet. I'm saying something yeah, so it's yeah. not like quiet. Uh, so you, what, what are you looking for? I'm trying to see if I'm doing like, I, I want to turn it into a function. 
I think in my mind, I have now a mix up of uh, Tableau and SQL. So in, in Tableau, I would do a calculated field and then it will help me, uh, it will help me see it. So here I'm trying to select, um, our goal is to see average purchase value. This will be as AVG purchase. So we'll have a row, row for this. Uh, not a, row, a column mm, on the output. Then I'm trying to wrap it into um, a function. Then I'll order by, maybe I'm typing today. Sending order, demand recent purchase date, and also we'll need a date for each customer. Oh, okay. that's fun. So we'll need the uh, customer ID. I'll need the purchase date. So order by, it's gonna give us like a little filter, but then I need to group it by customer ID. Count, we group. Oh, it's harder than I thought when you don't see the output of your code. It's really interesting, but yeah, I like it. it means I, I can understand what I need to work on. Um, yeah. I'm sure you didn't expect that. What That's what you're gonna get on Saturday morning. Select name, so I really appreciate this. Um, order by. How much time do you usually get during interview to solve uh, a task like that? I think it depends, but in general, minimum of 30 minutes, up to one hour. Okay. But, uh, yeah. There are for, usually yeah maybe three tasks. Fifteen minutes per task. Up to one hour, but um, I think that there is some time for if it's like one hour, actually you spend on SQL thirty or forty minutes. After that, you are discussing this, or uh, the interviewers they ask you additional questions, or you ask uh, them uh, the questions. Yeah. So thirty forty minutes for. Uh, maybe three tasks. So 15 minutes for one task, I would say, not more. First task was not easy. Yeah, because uh, when I was mock interview, I try to, to give uh, more complex tasks. Yeah, just to uh, practice it. In general, the first task will be like, maybe more similar to this task, just to calculate the averages and maxes. So here you don't need in the second task, you don't need to use a window function. So you just need to use some average and other functions. So you calculate it. Yes, you, you are ready or? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I need to group it by each customer. So customer ID. So let's see what I got. So I got the output as average. But this is not right. I'm, I'm just trying to think how, how can I wrap it? Because it's not as easy as I need to say where what, what table we're looking at. We're looking at purchases. Uh, so from purchases. And let's break it down. So it's more organized. So I'm trying to get the group yeah. by customer ID. And I need the recent purchase date. So I'm going to have two tables. Um, I think because it's a, such a small table, uh, what I want to do, I'm like, hey, let's select everything. And then group by will show us the things we actually want to see. But then. Uh, what I'm struggling with is how, where, where do I do the, where do I do the math? Uh, customer ID from purchase. Maybe I need to use, is it under where? Yeah, let's go one by one. So you don't need to use all fields and uh, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm just trying no, to. Yeah, I mean, itself. like, yeah, uh, yeah, please, please like, uh, you, yeah, these fields are correct. Uh, the first like, uh, oh, the star. Uh, star, you don't need star, I think. Yeah. So for each customer you need to calculate, uh, yeah, 
calculate the average purchase. So you need just customer ID and you don't need a purchase date for this. Yeah, so you can just remove it. Okay. Yeah. And because here, and when it. you go, yeah, first of all, yeah, when you calculate uh, average, so you can use your sum divided by count. Yeah, it's correct. But also average is also correct. Average inside like this function, it's uh, just calculates uh, the, the same logic. So it summarizes purchase amount and divides by number of rows that it's calculated. So you can just use uh, average as well. Yeah. And for this function, yes, sum should be only for purchase amount, not for the whole thing. Now it's correct. Yeah. Average purchase amount, it will calculate the average. So now the last uh, uh, thing you should calculate uh, the most recent purchase date for each customer. Uh, do you know how to do it? Like what function do, should we use? Mm. So we have like a mean and max functions that, uh, ah. this function they're looking for maximum and minimum, uh, value. So just could you please use one of these functions to, to find the most recent date? So the most recent date will be the maximum uh, of purchase date. Yeah. Recent. No, no, it's correct. So in the last step you should do is look at group by clause and uh, here, what should you put in group by? I need to add the, so I need to do, uh, I need to call it recent purchase, for example, and I need to include recent purchase. So it's displayed. So we have the field. No, actually you don't need it. You, you need like in group by, we put only fields that are not, I would say, uh, already aggregated by functions. So you should just put a customer ID and that's it. Oh, so really? It okay. By. Yeah. So it customer will be like ID. group by customer ID and all the calculations we will do grouping by customer ID. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that's it. So I made it more complicated in my mind. Yeah, it's a nice. Okay. Yeah, so let's discuss uh, your solution. So I, I can provide you like a feedback. So, so yeah, you definitely, yeah, you know all the functions, but you are not confident in using them. So definitely you need just more practice. Yeah, uh, it's just open, I don't know, like a data lemur, I like this site. So we can just solve regularly this task and there you can check your output. And plus, so you, you have to learn window functions. I think that this is a, like window functions is the, the last thing you should learn and that's it. And you will have the full knowledge. And after uh, knowing the window functions, you don't need to learn new things. You just need to practice and after practices for like, I don't know, a couple of weeks, you will be more confident and uh, it will be enough to pass most of the interviews you will have when this solves. Yeah, second thing, just don't uh, hesitate to ask any questions during the interview. So my goal as an interviewer, just to see how, how you, how you are thinking. So, uh, it's more important to understand how you're thinking that uh, you, you write maybe exactly, uh, like accurate, uh, query clean, cleaned up and so on. But it, it's a great idea if you just write a query or like even before a query, you, you are like discussing or, uh, okay, I need to yeah, get this and this, I will do this and this, I will group and calculate in, like, in your mind, like, and try it with the interviewer. And after that, when you write your uh, query, you can also, okay, now I will start with the select statement. I will choose like select this and this uh, fields and from this table, I will join. I will left join because I need uh, left join uh, because we have some, I don't know, additional data in this table. So just show your thoughts. It's really helpful to understand how you're thinking. Also, uh, I don't know why, but just why you are uh, wrote your query in one row, not uh, for me, it's harder to read it. Yeah. When, when you so, like yeah. uh, for, for last, uh, it's much better. Like how I see this, even maybe even each, uh, even like this. Yeah. So for me, it's much easier to, to analyze the code. Yeah, rather than, yeah, something like this is really helpful. While for the first task, it's yeah really hard to, uh, to read. Yeah. What else? This is mostly it. So yeah, you should understand how the group by works and how all these window functions and other stuff.
additional thing that you should know about SQL, maybe it's uh, check. Uh, do you know the how like, the order of operation in SQL? That's one of the things I was looking at the, to write the group yeah. by to to understand. Yeah. It has a certain order how we put it, but then it gets executed. That's why I'm always trying to start with from. This is where it, I think it yeah. starts with. First, like, yeah, it's from, then it's, it goes joins if we have one. So we join and we get all, all the data. Yeah. And then the, the filters, then, like the, the where, the group. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Last stuff. one here is like, yeah, order by. So for example, like, you use an order by LS and it's possible because it's uh, the last field. And the LS is already calculated, but you can't use uh, LSs in group by. Maybe in some databases you can, but in general you, you just can't do it. Yeah. And group by, you just use group by and you should specify the field you're grouping by. So if you have average and max, so it means these fields are calculated. So the thing mm -hmm. is they go is by yeah, customer ID. So, okay. Yeah, you just need more practice and that's it getting there yeah i i got i'm i'm slowly building up my it's it's hard to keep everything in notes so i started uh, dmitry suggested me to start instead of just learning things as as i learn to start saving things into my github so it also helps me uh to practice with uh, using vs code and i'm slowly building my repository with useful tips and today i got into uh, i think it's from learn sql they have a cheat sheet with like all the functions in SQL. And I found those window functions. So this morning I was like, oh, I don't yeah. know this. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get it. <laughs> Here we go. First task window functions. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, it so, was really yeah, helpful. For some, uh, maybe for uh, some junior or entry levels, uh, they don't ask for window functions, but for like, general data analyst role or senior data analyst role, most of the time they ask this yeah cool thank Great. you so much thank for for participation how are you feeling i mean I, I i was coming to to fail so i'm glad i failed and i learned from it <laughs> but it's it's yeah it's really important to practice. yeah to practice and to fail just to see your what you should improve that's true yeah so it's it's really helpful i, I I'm, I'm i'm glad i was like hey let me try i need to do it so i'm gonna practice yeah. more um I think the, the most important thing is to understand what they're asking for, understanding the the question, and then you know, building yeah. that order. And thank you for the tips. Every time, if you get the task, it's better to clarify once again. Even if you understand the task clearly, maybe just I don't understand clearly that you should just find this and this just to clarify. Because sometimes there are some just small details that you just haven't. I don't know, noticed. Yeah. So you should just clarify this stuff. Great. And thank then, you so much. Thank you. Uh, have a good day. Thank you. And then, yes, yeah, see you again after I practice. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.